Hello everyone, Plunder Pinball here, back with another video. You'll have to excuse all the noise, as it's a lovely day. I've got the door open, so if you hear trains, cars, whatever going by, that's what it is. But we have got something very exciting to put into Iron Maiden, a Stern Insider Connected Kit. So this is the Pro Kit. So we'll just have a little look in the box, which I have done already. But effectively you get a nice... Ooh, quick start guide, a big manual, how to do it all, so get that open, which I can't because it's quite bound, but instructions on how to put it all together, I'll just put that to one side, bear with me, don't want it to blow away. We get all the bits that we need, so this kit comes in two forms, you either get like an aerial antenna to go inside or you get a network adapter like this that goes in one of the USB ports on the uh, the SAM2, SAM2, Spike2 board. Got some nice stickers to put on the games, we've got the insider things that go on the apron and stuff, a ethernet cable that will connect something I'm about to show you up to the game itself. And that's pretty much what comes in that package. So I'm going to pop that over here with the stuff. And then the main thing itself is the apron. So this is quite a big thing. If you played a Godzilla, you might have seen one of these already. It comes standard on the game. So new games come with this. But if you're like me and you've got an Iron Maiden and a Black Knight, this didn't exist then. So effectively, you get given this entire apron with this the boards on the back so that's where the ethernet cable goes in and the only other thing I've got to do is I can flip it round there's two plugs here for the LED lights which are hot glued in so I'm going to have to unhot glue it and uh, make those holes available because Iron Maiden does have playfield lights so we're going to get this kit installed. These kits are like gold dust at the moment. Uh, I'm not going to reveal my sources, but I got a line on somebody who had some in the UK and they agreed to sell me one. Um, so I'm lucky enough to have got one. And then, of course, it got delivered by FedEx and FedEx lost the package for about three days, which made me very worried. But it did turn up eventually. It was meant to be delivered on a Friday and it turned up on the Tuesday, so that was good. So what we are going to have to do is you'll notice we've got the sticker here. But this is blank, this is blank. And I could leave it blank because I could end up putting this in Black Knight, but I think what I'm going to end up doing is when these are more widely available, I'm going to buy a second one just in case. So what we're going to have to do, if I come over to Iron Maiden, is we're going to have to take that sticker off and that sticker off. That one will leave, and we're possibly going to have to take that shooter lane thing off and then transfer that over. But these two things, I don't know, I might move that, but we'll see. Um, we move that one over to here, and then we have the stern insider thing there. But base, I've already updated the game software, so they're ready to go, they're on the latest software. So we shall begin and see how it goes. So that is job number one done. It wasn't too difficult, it was literally remove two screws. Um, you can see the apron side by side there. The difficult bit is going to be transferring those decals. I was wrong. If you look, there is no LEDs on Iron Maiden. So if you've not seen the bottom part of an Iron Maiden, that's what it looks like. Black Knight has them. I did just check. So if I ever need to move it across, I'll have to remember that for Black Knight. Not too much to say about this bit, though. We'll move on to the next steps of looking at transferring the decals and then getting the apron itself fitted. So just another quick update, if you have one of these and you're worried about transferring the stickers, don't be, it was super easy. Um, plenty of adhesive on them just to stick them back down on the new apron. First time I've removed them, I reckon if you had to do this a few times you might have to reapply more adhesive because it probably lose it over time. But I've just moved that sticker, that sticker and the shooter lane sticker. Uh, that one obviously is going to have to stay on that apron but I'll keep that for spare. And now we shall look at doing the next part of the job.
So again, just a little further along, basically all I've done now is I've put the ethernet cable so it's attached to the camera on the apron and all you have to do is thread it through this hole under here, it comes across and it goes into this spare socket on the end of this node board. Didn't think the cable was going to be long enough, but what I'm probably going to end up doing is uh, cable tying it to this lot of cables, just so it's not sort of hanging loose and looks a bit better. But basically now we've got to do is screw the, um, the new apron in and just tidy it up and then update, not update the software, then connect it to the Wi-Fi and make sure it works. So again, a little bit further on, all I've done is the apron's now screwed in. I've reinstated this instruction card because it actually has the rules on rather than the other that just says how many were made and who designed it and stuff. Decided to go for this one for now. Um, thought why not, you know, makes it really obvious. And then we got the best bit. Oh, the peel. Who doesn't love a bit of plastic peel? And then the only other thing really I've got to do is I'm going to stick that sticker on that goes on the back box. Um, we've cable tied this. I haven't snipped them yet, but I will once I'm happy it's all in place. So that cable is now nicely tied up going across. And then we just got to connect it to the Wi-Fi. So again, a little further on, just thought I'd show you. We are now at the stage of putting the stuff in the board. So I've put the sticker there. We'll just let that flop down. I've also put the optional sticker in the middle of the coin door because I didn't have anywhere to do that. But the next thing we've got to do is get this wireless Wi-Fi receiver and this little micro SD card into the board. I should keep slipping down. Oh, whatever, it's probably fine. <laughs> Um, and then we've got to connect up to the Wi-Fi, so this shouldn't be too difficult, and I'll just update on that once I've put them in. So again, that was really easy. The uh, mic little wireless thing just goes in one of the two USB sockets there, and the micro SD just clicks in there underneath. Now there's a whole thing where some of these people who get these kits get like a wireless adapter instead of that tiny little receiver. In that case, you've got to mount it like on the left there and then trail the Ethernet cable into that port at the top. But I've not got that kit, so do look up the instructions from Stern if uh, you've got that version. But that's that done. Pretty much now, all that's left to do is turn it on, connect it up, and see if it works. And that is that. Had a few games, plays excellently. Actually, got high score one just got that 521 million only 20 million off my top score ever which was good should update the code sooner there's an extra multiple in our now after um three pharaoh's tomb treasures which i didn't know but unlocked a ton of achievements um works really well super easy just scan your your phone with the qr code on that and play your game and away you go so Anyone looking to get one of these kits, if you can find one, like I say, because I like gold dust, I'd definitely recommend it. And I will put up a gameplay video of Iron Maiden at some point soon. So, until next time, see you around.